Good morning, guys. Um, I know it's been a long time since I've made a video. I decided that I was going to go ahead and start this back up again. Um, as you know, before I was in nursing school, I have since finished nursing school and we have moved. And um, I am waiting to take the NCLEX, which is the big test that we take for licensure. Um, and in the state of California, it's taking forever. So I decided that I would um, start this back up again because I did really enjoy it and, um, excuse me, have been wanting to get back into it, just didn't have the time to do it. So this morning I'm just going to um, basically put on quick makeup for hot weather um, because it's super hot here. So this moisturizer I'm using is... Um, Ren Clear Skin or Ren Clean Skin Care. It's just a um, day cream. I like it so far. It's something I got in an Ipsy box that you know I'm trying to work through things to see what I like if I'd want to order it. This one is pretty lightweight because here in Redding, California, it gets really hot. And if you have anything on that's too heavy, um you just sweat it off, basically, which is fine, you know, whatever. I end up sweating outside anyway, because it's really hot. It was, I'm not sure what the high actually was yesterday, but on my husband's way home from work at 5 p.m., it was 120 degrees on Tuesday. So, I do not do a full face of makeup here, so I'm just kind of showing you my quick, it's really hot outside makeup. And I'm really breaking out right now, too. I don't know if you can see that very well from this camera angle. But, Loopy here, Scott, that's my dog playing with his bed. Because that's what he does. That's his, that's his life, you know. Okay. Pretty well moisturized. Now, because it's so hot here, I don't really do anything heavy on my face during the day so like so like when I get up I basically use toner on my face or if I shower I just do a light wash in the shower and then light moisturizer if I need to do anything heavier than that I'm going to do it at night before I go to bed or you know just in the evening like late in the evening because it's still really hot here at 8 p.m. so I'm sorry I got um, junk under my eyes still. So, yeah, that's just a leftover lotion on my hands. I got way too much. I end up just taking it and putting it on my tattoos, moisturizing those. All right. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is just spot cover up. And so, um, I like this Boo Boo Concealer. Um, I got this in Nipsey bag a while ago. I also really like to use my, um, NYX Gotcha Covered. I like that a lot too, but right now I'm a little too dark for this. This is ivory. I know it's weird that I'm too dark for anything. I'm a little too light for this one right now. But once I powder them, it seems to work out just fine. Now this look, when you're not doing it on camera, really takes you very little time. Um, I'd say get out of the house in less than 15 minutes doing this. Less than. I've never timed it, so I don't really know. Maybe one of these days I'll time it and see. You know, so. So I just always do everything on the back of my hand. And just a little... That, that size is where I start. If I need more, I can get more. But I can't put it back in the tube, so... I always start it that way first. And I just use my hands for this. And I just literally go through and put it on all of my red spots. I'm going to look down at my mirror here. They're harder to see on camera. So I'm sorry about that. See, kind of looks a little too dark right here. But. It's okay. It all works out. And 
honestly, I try to avoid my forehead. And it looks like I'm flipping you off, but I'm really not. So I've got all my major areas covered, I think. Oh, I have another couple. Just another tiny, even smaller than the first dot. I end up using the back of my hand the whole time and then I just wash my hands when I'm done. Now, if you use like a full coverage foundation, like my normal full coverage foundation is this Estee Lauder. Um, sometimes when I put it on the back of my hand, I literally can't get it off with, with soap and water. I have to just kind of wait it out if I let it dry. So that I always <laughs> wipe off really quickly because otherwise it's going to be on my face or on my hand all day. Now, when I'm at the hospital, I wash my hands a lot, so it will fade and go away eventually. But, um, so I'm just going to use my, um, Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I really need a new one, but for right now, it's still working. It's clean. It's just really old. So this is my Real Techniques Dampened Beauty Sponge. And I just go in, and to tell you the truth, I never go right on top of the spot. So I'll go on the outside here. And just blend the edges sometimes um, I'll go over it quickly but I try to just blend my edges really good can you guys see my fat neck see I don't know if you can see it very well but if you go right over it Sometimes it removes this, the area right over the area you're trying to cover because it's like a scab or something because I'm broken out. So it doesn't even do what you wanted it to do. So I try to just go around the edges with my beauty sponge and then just use the heat of my finger to smooth over the actual area. Now these ones over here are just red spots. And then because I had a lot over here, I'm just going to kind of work it down my neck. And this is not perfect. You will not have flawless skin with this look. But you will have a big improvement. And it does make you just feel better to have the improvement, you know. So, and then I just powder my whole face. And this is actually the brush that I've been using. It needs to be washed right now, too. Um, but it's the Wet n Wild, I don't remember the name of it, but I do like it. It's really soft. I'm probably going to just see if I can find a new one. I'll throw this one away. This was only a dollar. I found it at the dollar store, which was great. So, and the powder, I hadn't used this in a long time, but I came back to it. This is the, um, Infallible Pro Matte, and this is in the shade Porcelain. Just gonna put that all over my face and I literally just usually start under my eyes and dabbing it and this isn't really for coverage this is just to um, reduce the sheen and I dab it to really make sure it covers and seals in all of the concealer areas seem like I'm using a lot and I probably am using more than generally needed but because it does get so hot here I like to make sure that those areas are basically sealed if that makes sense and then my forehead is just kind of pink all the time so this helps a little bit with that but not a ton. I have a very pink skin tone because, as you can see, I have red hair. Um, excuse me. So our main goal here is really to just get rid of shine. 
Let me see when our little um, concealer stops. Sorry, I didn't get the edge of this very well, so I'm just going to use my finger. Finger is one of the best makeup tools you have. And then I just do one and I just brush it around. It just gets rid of any extra and just helps smooth out anything you've put on. And I do want to do all my eyebrows. Not that you can see them, but yes, that's where they go. So. Then I do go ahead and contour and all that fun stuff because it just makes you feel better. And I'm using this Real Techniques brush. It's the number 301. I've had this for probably over a year. It's pretty beat up because I do take it everywhere with me. When I travel, I always take this brush. So it is pretty beat up. Um, but it still cleans up pretty nicely. It's just that, you know, because it's got these corners on it, that's where the coating is coming off, essentially. So, And then I'm using um, Park Avenue Princess in this little set here. It's pretty well used. I do like the um, Too Faced one also. Um, but I like this one. It's a little lighter and I have very fair skin. So once I get a little tanner... Um, I usually use the Too Faced, but this is great for all year round. You just dab the extra off. And I always just start with where I want it to be. Now some people fish face. I don't. It really does me no good. I guess it tells me how where I want the line. So I don't like it to come too far down. I have a very small face essentially so if I have it come too far down it just looks really weird and it starts to get really muddy right here so then I just feather it out and I always try to go back into my hairline nothing exciting just a little bit of um definition And I'm just feathering it out again. Got a little excited on this side. Went a little bit further than I would like. Now in that case, I'm just going to leave it alone for right now. Um, and the blush that I'm going to use I'm going to use, I'm actually just going to go ahead and use a warm bronzer. This is Pixie Summertime. It's just a nice golden color. Oops, I forget which side my camera is actually on. And it's upside down. Great. So, probably can't read that because I'm using my phone right now. I didn't feel like going and getting my camera so I decided you know what I'm just gonna use my phone why not so um, and for this I'm just gonna use this big fluffy real techniques brush it is the blush brush and I'm just warming up my face right here I'm going to top it with a little bit of blush once I'm done. But I like the little bit of glow. And I also like the, just the warming up. Because I am very pale. And anything I can do to help myself. Because I like the sun. But I try to keep my face out of it. I The blush I'm going to use is this is by Model Co. And this is just um, blush cheek powder. It doesn't actually have a name. So 
it was just this like it's um not quite baby pink it's not warm it's not it's more of a cool blush it's just more of a it doesn't come across on screen here but it's more of a peachy color than it looks like on the camera same brush just a little dab we're just warming up a little and just right over top same thing on the other side loose no Sorry, my big baby's being bad. Moose, stop it. He likes to suck on his blankets, and right now he's trying to suck on his bed, which I don't want him to do. So yeah, that's what that's about. Um, so for highlighter, I do just normally use this one in the palette that I already showed you. I think I am just gonna go ahead and do that today too. It is, um, what's the name of it? It's on the back here. Hmm, I guess it's not. I don't know the name of it. Maybe I'll use one that I can get the name of. <laughs> the other one that I've really been liking is in my, um, Swamp Queen palette. It is, I can't really show you nicely without my brush falling out. The Gator Wings. Now this will give you some glow. I'm going to go ahead and use that one. And just really, oh, usually I don't use this brush. We're going to use the brush I normally use. Just kind of brushing off the excess. This is the brush I normally use. This is a Luxie Tapered Highlighter Brush. And it, I got this in the Ipsy bag, but I really liked it. I have really liked most of the Ipsy makeup tool products that I have received. So, so just dab none, and I literally just kind of feather over my cheekbone, which is very far in there. <laughs> um, just feather. Kind of lightly and quickly so that I don't have an area where I have too much. And do the other side. Now, I learned when I was probably 17, the reason why I don't have very defined cheekbones is because my jaw actually sits further back than it should. So um, when I was a kid, we were talking about getting braces and I thought that's all that I would need to fix. It's just a tiny overlap on the bottom. And basically the orthodontist was like, um, no, not really. If I'm gonna do that, I'm actually going to do everything that would need to be fixed because you have an underbite. And I just thought, whatever, it's an underbite, who cares? But to fix it would mean basically breaking my jaw on the top and moving it forward so my teeth would sit in front of my bottom teeth. And I was like, nope, doesn't bother me that much. So I'm just gonna leave my teeth how they are and if they ever become a problem, then I will think about it then. But I'm not really that bothered by it, so I'd much rather just Leave it alone. So, I just contour and highlight and call it good, you know. Some people contour into their hair, which I don't do that. I have a pretty small forehead already, so I don't really do that. Um, every once in a while, if I'm feeling really fancy, I will, but most of the time, I do not. So, that's it for the face. Now, I'm going to go in and do my brows. This is the pencil I've been using recently and it's the Revlon Color Stay in Auburn. The other kind that I like are the NYX ones. Um, but I kind of go back and forth. This one is a little bit darker. So I have to use a mirror for this. That's not in the film. So no, I'm not going to use such a shiny mirror though. Really? Moose! Cool it! Moose. Just lay down, sweetie. Just lay down. <laughs> I normally
only have like a little, just a mirror, but not today, I guess. So, and because my eyebrows are uneven, no matter what I do, I'm just kind of double check and see. See how they're uneven? Can't fix it. So I draw this one a little low. I've tried to have them shaped and they're always like, nope. Or they always tell me, oh, you want them to be sisters, not twins. And I'm like, well, I want them to be at least on the same level, but no, apparently that's asking too much. I really want them microblading because I have such light eyebrows. It would mean that I could leave the house um, without looking like a crazy person while having eyebrows. Weird, huh? Sorry if you can hear the garbage truck. They just come whenever, I think. I don't know. We live in apartments now, so... The thing that I do not like about this pencil is that um, the edge goes away. It becomes less pointy, and so you have to basically create a new edge. So on the side that I need to be more precise on, I always do it sucky so I can recreate that line. Sorry guys, if I can't see me as well. I thought that I had the garbage man schedule figured out, but today proves now. My eyebrows very seldom look exactly like each other and that's just something that I have come to learn to deal with. My daughter and I are going to venture out today and do some school clothes shopping for her. I would normally take both kids but she is finally at an age where it's better to go to a junior store. She's turning 12 in a few couple weeks at this point, August 24th. And see how much further this one is in. There we go. Um, and the jeans are still too long, but I'm kind of figuring that here we're going to need shorts. Well, a lot longer than we did in Oregon. So, I'm going to take her to Rue 21, and we're just going to get some shorts. And honestly, I'm going to worry about pants later. Because it's too hot for them anyway. I always have one nice eyebrow. And one jink bite eyebrow. Sometimes I end up just wiping off the whole other eyebrow, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to try to make it work. Sometimes I've just decided that my face shape is different on one side, and it probably is, but this brow gives me a much better arch. This one grows more straight. So I try to marry the two with each other. Now, the good thing for me is I wear glasses, so it does help cover it up. But when I don't wear glasses, I have to be much more 
much more particular about how my eyebrows look when I go out. Today, I'm okay with being a little janky. I'm just going to comb through them. But that is why microblading would be so nice. And no, not scared of needles. I am not worried about that at all. The only thing that worries me is them being terribly done. So I'm going to be really looking for reviews. Sorry, I got something in my eye. And the last step that I do is uh, mascara. This is the Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Angel. I really like the brush in this. It helps me have way more control. Actually, it's not the last step. The last step will be chapstick. And I like that I'm perfectly happy doing both tops and bottoms with this same mascara because it does give me enough control to do so. Mascara face. And next side, my eye is going to water. That's the trade off. Um, I don't like waterproof mascara because I don't like having to rub my eye that much to get stuff off. Um, but whenever I do get something in my eye or anything like that, I just have to do the blink and hope that it doesn't actually tear up. days I'll show you my new makeup setup which is actually pretty nice I need a better chair this one is really hard and you know when you're doing your makeup you lean forward a lot so it just gets uncomfortable on my bottom um, now some days when I know that it's not as hot I also put some primer under this um, this is the Smashbox this is a trial size I have the big one too but I'm trying to work through my sample sizes um, some days I do use this guy, but I, on days I know it's really hot, I know it sounds bad, but because this is, um, if you use this, you know, it's kind of like a slimy formula. I think that my makeup ends up actually staying through the sweat better if I don't have this under it. Now, if it's just everyday wear, then yes, I totally use this. But today I decided that because it's so hot that I was going to just stick with it straight to my skin and um, hope for the best, honestly. So that is it. Now we put our glasses on. See how it helps with my eyebrows? Mm -hmm. Can't even tell that they're totally janked up. Mm -hmm. And last step, oh, dropped that one. Guess I'll use a different chapstick. This is actually one from the dollar store. I don't really care. It's a little. It just is too dry here to not have anything on. Usually I do this. Uh, before I start my makeup. But. Not today. So there you have it. Sorry getting the glare off my glasses. Um, that is my quick face. Now. You know what today. I haven't been doing this. But I pulled it out because. I basically had my stuff packed, or like half my stuff still packed up until recently. This is the Mary Kay Finishing Spray. And I'm just going to use this. I know that I like this normally. Now, if you have don't have makeup spray, 
if you have access to the Paul Mitchell Owl Pui Spray or the, um, I can't think of what it's called. It's the moisturizing spray. That works as a makeup setter too. So, yep, there we are. That's all I've got for you folks. I hope you're having a great day and I will check in with you later. Bye.